Hi guys, as Project Project, we are here today to look at Josh's R33 four door. This is a RB25 converted, so this is a RB25 DE. So about 192 horsepower, twin cam, 24 valve. It's got that Japanese JDM Junction Produce VIP sort of style about it. Got these beautiful, and I mean beautiful, works alloys, rear wheel nuts. Got this epic, epically cool Uber little parking pole here. I love that. I think it is just cooler than a penguin's, you know. Can't say it because I'm trying to be good for YouTube here. Yeah. Got the original Nissan wind deflectors. Check out this cabin. Beautiful gloss black accents in the, the beautiful Nardi Torino steering wheel. That is just a really nice touch. The, the interior is just absolutely perfect. This interior is just perfect. I love Japanese cars. There's a little GDS badge there. Sounds lovely. Sounds lovely. Come on, Josh. Tell us about this skyline then. Must be what? Uh, Four, was it two, five years? Must 2018. Aye, uh, 2018. Yeah. Started out as a two litre. I blew it up after I changed the timing belt on it. The crank probably came to bits. Yeah. Got an RB25 in it. Non turbo. So, came out with an R32, which turned up to be a bit of a balls up light because it ended up being an absolute nightmare to rewire in for an R33. But yeah. Here we are. It's been away in storage for about a year and a bit now. Yeah. It's literally just come back out. Fired over, no bother at all. So far. So, what mods have you done then? So, you've got obviously the alloys. Yeah. Got the alloys. Got the race engineering wheel nuts. Yeah. Got the side skirts, which yeah. yours truly managed to find us. Yeah. Those are rare. That is a rare item there. That little bit there. Super rare for a four door. Coupe spats, because we couldn't really couldn't really find any four door known spats, could we? No. Source system. It's got a five zigging system which ended up getting about another two inches put on. Extended out the fit of a four door. Yeah. Like I said, I had all the centre done, gloss black, it's got a naughty wheel. There's more repeaters and I'll show you where the magic happens. And there's more smoked repeaters. The smoked or are they clear? I think they're smoked, yeah. Oh yes. 190 horsepower this bad lad. So Obviously this is an automatic car and the radiator should have had the built-in oil cooler for the automatic transmission but now you've upgraded the radiator so I'm guessing that's, that's an yeah. external Mifimoto oil cooler as well. Yeah. So the lines run under the car, right okay. up on the front end. Yeah. Um, like I said the actual engine and all that was fitted by me, so the gearbox over and everything. Yeah. It was just that I got the GDR Herbert Centre to get wired up because yeah. I'm a modern age mechanic and it was completely beyond me to try and wire it. Right, fair enough. It's had uh, painted covers, cam covers, new viscous fans, HKS intake, all the Jubilees and everything all replaced because they've all got them crap uh, tie stops and that, that all the yeah. hoses on. Scrub brace. Obviously, revving the Junction Produce there, uh, custom scrub brace, may I add. Yeah, man. That's about it. I think we're just looking at manual swapping and turbo on it eventually. Yeah, so manual swap, I think we were talking about, um, I think we were talking about maybe doing like the BMW, is like a one or a 320D five speed box, yeah. which take mad power. The boxes are like pennies. Yeah, close um, to like the GTST variant, which is like yeah. two and a half grand, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then obviously the conversion kit's about 650, and then you need a prop. So I think by the time you're in it, 12, 1300 pound, but You've got a manual box that'll take the power, and then you said you're maybe turboing this. I know you were originally maybe thinking about going 
uh, individual throttle bodies. Yeah, or, I was talking about that because I, yeah, I think it's be all been done, it's yeah. been done, all the turbo stuff and that, so yeah. I think it would really be quite significant to get it on carb wrappers and there's just something about carb. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you know, it is, I've seen the Rocky Auto stuff in Japan and these RB25s NA on carbs or ITBs. The sound really, really well. Yeah, I mean, you can yeah. you can do the ITBs. You just need a standalone stand engine management, management, management to keep the fuel injection. Or, like you said, you know, you can maybe do the the Weber carburetor conversion. But yeah, I think this is a cool project. Kate. Future plans? Just obviously, you said turbo and the. Well, like I said, it's, it's only really been out. It's only been out a few days, really. Uh, yeah. I need to change the brakes and all that. So I've been going to change them. I changed the drop links. That's been advisory for the last five years. Yeah. Um, I'd say get it all running up nice again and then uh, just enjoy the summer, what's left of summer with it really. Chummy, chummy. And then rip it all apart again at winter. It's about the norm, isn't it? Yeah, it's about the norm, isn't it? It's about the norm. Yeah, right. The we'll take this up, lap bad lad over a test drive. It's quite low down, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Does I need to disarm, disarm the alarm? Man. Disarm the alarm. What's that? Some Bluetooth retunes through the fucking oh, head right. unit. So that was like a little man in the back seat. I was like, no. whoa, what's going on here? Just on my sound here. Wow, that's freaky. Can you imagine, like, you forget that you've got that in the car and then, like, you. Yeah. Now, when we came out of your estate, it was, um, did you have it in first? Because yeah. you were like right over and I had to kick down and I pushed the kick down. Yeah. And like I couldn't get away from it. But then on the dual carriageway when I was doing the same, um bumping it down. I was um I was like obviously getting away there. Nah, but, uh, but I haven't got any kick down on out in this either. Yeah. It was part of the, the transplant of marrying the old box up against the new engines yeah, that lost so the kick down. Yeah, so you the original engine was what was it? The it was the same box relating pretty much that goes in the 300 ZXs, wasn't it? In the old R32. So this is the same as the 300 ZX box as well as a Nissan Patrol and yeah. a black car. But the box that was made to the 25 engine that you got was actually out of a 32 GTS 25. Yeah. And there was a very limited number of them actually received five-speed automatic boxes. So the ECU, which controls the yeah. transmission. Mm -hmm. is what controls this yeah. four speed auto so yeah even though you did get you did actually get the five speed auto didn't you yeah with i got the, the box and everything with it but we we discussed it didn't we and we went well if any of them were to go wrong with it yeah. you couldn't even get oh, like, you couldn't yeah. even get prop seals or anything for yeah. it so i remember i had one guy he was like he he hounded me for years with the best one in the like, world it yeah. probably would have been a better box but i stopped the drive i had to stop the drive plates over Torque converter, everything. Yeah. Um, to marry it up with this one, obviously. The box, like you say, we are leaning more, more towards putting a manual in it. Um, but like I say, if you do manually drive it, go first and second. It does shift like, but it's just when you when you're driving, it's where you would normally kick down. It remains in the same gear, so it's it can be seen it's as mad a bit as well. Slubbish. I was just saying this on the stage here video mm. that you've got an oil pressure gauge, and this was only a two point. Sorry, this was originally was a RB20 single car. Yeah, yeah. You get oil pressure. Prop, but prop the stage basic. here, the stage here doesn't even get it. Yeah. So like that stage has got the 25 DET, mm -hmm. and in a GDST you get the oil pressure, you get the boost. Yeah. Gauge and then like in the stage you don't get any of that. You get a speedo. Mm -hmm. You rev range and then. You feel I'm surprised you didn't uh, get a boost gauge. Yeah, out, like. I swear that was that was like. But then the stage had so many more features, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, did we go this way? Just because. 
because I can get them at good trade discount and they are a good coilover. Obviously, I had them on the Subaru wagon. Oh, ice cold aircon, folks. Yeah. On a hot day like this in the day, it is hot and it it's is It's just sticky. old aircon, though, as well. Old aircon's oh, better than new aircon. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah, it's more like it's one of them Toyota Chaser style. Yeah. Toyota Chaser, so they're really big cars then. Yeah. I think a lot of it though as well, is the way the way Chasers look, they're very boxy with big very big body kits and stuff like yeah. that. And that's just only got like a very like a low length in it, it's just got side yeah, skirts, it's got side spats and yeah. all this, so it doesn't have that sort of mad lariness about it. Yeah. Which is a good thing. Yeah. Years now, never you, you obviously collected it from Horton, I got yeah. a trailer, didn't it? Yeah. So well, that was when I had it uh, single car. Yeah. yeah, got trailer. Like I said, got trailer. Well, that's the thing as well. Even when you guys did all the wiring and everything for it and stuff, with obviously me getting a house and stuff like that, it went into storage. I even hardly drove it. I think. It's, yeah. I think on the actual conversion itself, it's only really under about 150 miles or so. Paintwork-wise, what do you think? Are you going to keep it KR4 silver? Are you going to maybe change the paintwork up a little bit? I think with the best will in the world, I'd, I would probably just keep the KR4 for now. I want to get yeah. the back bumpers done, get the bumpers touched in because they were bits and bobs that came through when it was shipped and we didn't realise. Um, yeah. It was um, a very cheap car. Yeah. I don't know if you need to divulge. No, make I people, make people I sick no, no, at how no, much no. money we got this no, car no. for. But, um, I, uh, I love one. Spoiler. You can ask upon special request. Yes, yes. POA. Yeah. <laughs> POA price <laughs> application. But uh, yeah. I would love to go uh, what we'll call like 400 R gold. I think that'd be interesting. Or even I might try and mix it up and go like look at the Sega Blue, like an E36 M3. Oh, wow. I thought you that'd would. be something pretty well, special. Well, that would be very similar to like the Le Mans, wouldn't it? Yeah. And I wouldn't uh, want to step on any toes of like, yeah, say, I yeah. want to paint it like the Mans, but like, yeah. I just love that. That's the Guna Sake, the blue that they do in their M3s. Yeah, yeah, it's that's just quite a good shout. I just thought that would be something so different. You know, everyone's done Millennium Jade, and yeah. you know, it's absolutely beautiful. I but honestly don't think Millennium Jade looks good with 33. I think anything other than 34 GDR. But then, I seen that Ortec naturally aspirated RB. 2632. Was that Millennium J? No, no, that's actually a special colour. Yeah, but I see, uh, and I thought that looked yeah, proper smart. Yeah, that did. Yeah, that's the um, SFS Ortec, which has the RB26 Natri Aspirate, so it's the RB26D. Yeah, yeah. Cracking, cracking the legend, that like. Um, again, with this being what it is, I mean, if you didn't want to turbo it, um, you know what I mean? Or even if you do turbo it, you can probably put like the RB26. En engine covers on, can't you? Because yeah. You've got no VVTI on this. No, no. no. Pre VVTI, so for the being pre VVTI, you don't have to uh, change anything. You can just put like a set of cams in, and then. Uh, uh, Aye, but I think I think I'm looking at a nice set of carbs, like because I just I just love the sound, the rawness of them, and that. Yeah, I know there's a channel um, GM on cars. Mm -hmm. J A Y E M M. He had a uh, super on ITVs and I thought that was oh, yeah. obviously the sound was unbeatable. So yeah, I think I think I think that would be the better option. I think that's all right. I think a lot of a lot of these cars have all been explored, been and done, and you know they've had yeah. stupid figures out of them and all this sort of thing. But I think for a carb setup, run on actually any, try and get like a nice and sound and note in the exhaust. Maybe even change the exhaust and that. But I think it could be something really sort of different. Yeah, 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 yeah. But who knows? Who knows, mate? Who knows? Right, guys. Well, thanks very much for watching. If you haven't liked, shared, and subscribed, make sure you do. Social media is a really, really big thing for the channel. So, yeah, please like, share, and subscribe. And I shall see you later for more amazing content. Bye -bye.